Okay, welcome back everybody. So I'm out on the golf course at our puppy golf club and I'm gonna play some golf, believe it or not. This is very, very rare for me. If I get out on the golf course, typically filming, obviously I'm gonna be filming this as well, but I'm just gonna play some holes. So we are on the 14th hole here at Appleby. We're gonna play into the 18th. We're gonna score. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the shots of play and maybe also the equipment that I've got in my bag and what I'm using and maybe why I'm using it. And we'll see how we, we get on. And maybe post comments down below, let me know what score I'm gonna finish. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off. It is 430 yards is the 14th, pretty much straight down. Obviously a bit of rough up the left and the right. I'm gonna go with driver. And that's a nice tee shot. Oh yeah, down the middle of the fairway, lovely. Nice start. Okay, so there's some new additions in the bag and we're gonna obviously go through it in this particular video, but start, starting off with the driver, new driver in the bag for the 2022 and it's the Callaway Rogue ST. And I've gone for the Max LS, the low spin one. I did enjoy the standard Max, but it was just maybe the head size was a little bit big. I really like the forgiveness of it. So I've opted for the Max LS, which is obviously a little bit more compact in the head. I've got a 10 side white, 75 gram in a X Flex. Uh, playing it at 9 degree and I'm just playing it standard at 9 degree and I really like it. It seems, it seems to give me a really good sort of ball flight that I'll sort of look for. Uh, I think the shaft really is quite stable for me so it gives me a good sort of penetrating ball flight. So we turn turning to that wind which typically and I, I struggle a little bit with. I can really get it sort of working through it a little bit better. Okay so really pleased with that tee shot I've just hit in there. So I also use, uh, for rangefinder, I've got a Bushnell Tor V5 Shift, which has the slope technology, which I absolutely love. And I've got the slope turned on today. Obviously, I can't use that in tournament play. Uh, but I also use the watch as well, which I think is great for some quick front, middle and back sort of numbers. So I do use both, depending on the shot and depending on the uh, flag and where it is. If it's a blind shot, I'm obviously going to be opting for my watch. So quickly lock it on there at 120 yards exactly. Okay, so another new addition in the bag. I've got a 50 degree and it's a Ping Glide 4.0. I'm really, really sort of impressed with it. The looks, the feel, the performance was absolutely superb. So just gonna throw these in the bag. I've got a 50, 54, 58, so 120 yards. I'm gonna hit a smooth sort of 50 degree. Just cut that a touch skinny. But it's up there, it's pin eye, probably about 20 foot. Okay, and another new addition to the bag. Really excited with this one, and it is a sick putter. It's the Sea Flow, and I really like it. I've had this custom made for me, it's blacked out. I've got the sight line in the back of the. I might do a separate video on this because there's a lot going on with this sick putter, the technology, and I've really enjoyed using it. We have the fitting bag at Penrith Golf Hub, so we can interchange the necks uh, into the different heads and obviously measure it on Sam Putt Lab. But super putter, really like the feel of this. So, this is a, a new addition. Let's see if I can roll this one in for a birdie. Oh, I was walking after that. Oh, horseshoed. Robbed. Thought I had that. And that's one of the reasons why I like that putter. The roll off it is superb. It just seems to, and that's that descending loft technology where if you get it slightly imperfection strikes up and down the face, maybe even angle of attacks, it really gets a very consistent roll out. Okay, so the signature hole at Appleby Golf Club, the 15th par three. It's, it, I think it's been ranked in the top 100 par threes in the UK. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's up there. So quick little hole, but we've got the, the the greens actually sank in in like a dip so we can't see we've got that little marker post which is i think somewhere around there you can just about see uh, so i've got a completely blind shot so for me here now this is where my gps watch bushnell watch is going to come into its own because i can't get a lock onto the flag with my laser one of the reasons why i carry both units so quickly looking at i've got 151 front 155 to the middle 161 to the back so you can see it's a really narrow tight green obviously i've got a banking at the back which will give me a little bit of a buffer so 155 to the middle that's the number i'm going to sort of work on very little wind i've got to hit a firm nine iron 151 to that front edge i feel like i can carry that 151 
that's a super strike. That should be very good. We'll go and have a look. So you're probably thinking what iron has it just hit there? Nine iron, but what brand? Yes, I've got a new set of irons in my golf bag. No, I haven't. Still got the Wilsons, the trusty Wilson staff model blades, and I absolutely love them. Nearly three years into them now, and I can't see anything knocking them out. They just feel superb. The feel, the looks, the way the ball comes out, really, really like them. Okay, so coming into the green. Oh, there we go, very nice. That'll do me nicely. Oh, just run out of steam at the end. Easy tapping, Paolo. Okay, so golf ball, what golf ball do I actually use? So TaylorMade, I've played with this for a long time. TaylorMade TP5X, just like the feel of it around the greens. Uh, the spin control looks pretty good. You know, I don't really do a lot of ball testing. Do I play around with a lot of golf balls? Probably don't. I tend to stick with one ball. I'm happy with it. I don't really sort of go searching for maybe other golf balls. Maybe it's something I should do, maybe just to sort of have a little look and see if there's any sort of differences. But I'm really happy with TaylorMade TP5X. Okay, so 16th hole, apple bit, pretty much straight down, a little bit of a blind shot now. Marker in the distance. Okay, so absolutely perfect tee shot, split the middle of the fairway, ideal position. Just see the top of the flag, can't see the bottom of the flag, so I'm just going to quickly zap the top of the flag. One, three, three. I've got my watch, one, two, three, front edge. So very quick and easy, I've got two numbers there. Wind very slightly into. Just gonna go with a nice smooth wedge. So Wilson Staff, nice smooth on this pitching wedge. Should be the perfect club, this. Oh, really nippy one there. Kick right, ooh, not sure. Didn't see it bounce, should be okay. Just a touch left, maybe pin eye. Okay, there we go. I'll take that all day. Really good chance of bird. Let's see if we can convert it. Oh. Oh. Not meant to be these birdies, are they? So, 17th Appleby. Beautiful par three now, which, uh, according to my watch, is 155 to the middle. Let's see what it is to that flag. Exactly 155, so that flag's right in the middle of the green and I've got 141 to the front edge. I think I'm just going to go with a 7 iron and just sort of knock it down a little bit because I think 8 iron is probably my number 155 but I just feel like it's just a little bit of wind up there. The flag's not fluttering much but I think I'll just see just grip down this a little bit, just take a tiny bit off it, just knock it in a little bit lower. all over it if it's the club oh wow that looks close that was a perfect shot played that exactly how i want it just knocked it down the yardage was perfect really got a good confirmation of the yardage with the bushnell played that great okay right it's run on a little bit further than i thought from back there it looked really close okay this looks to be a bit of a quick one this sort of green runs down left so a little bit of a right to left looks a little bit quick as well this one a little bit of a tricky pot, try and get this work. A little bit of the right. Ah, just didn't give it enough. Much more than I thought. Ooh, what's left me a little tester. Ah, oh, cleared up nicely. Power again. Right, okay, so 18th Appleby, nice little finishing hole back to the clubhouse. Just sort of zoom in a little bit there. Because the flags, just see the two guys on the green there at the moment. So it's three, from these tees, it's 360 yards to the middle. So clearly not gonna reach, but do I just maybe hit an iron, get it in play, working that sort of pitch there. I think I sort of wanna leave myself that sort of 100 yard area. So something around that 260 mark. But then again, I'm hitting driver really. I'm gonna hit driver. Let's get it up there as far as we can. Hitting driver well, stick with it. That's what I say. Uh, I've just pulled that off the left hand side there in the rough but I should have a fairly fairly okay shot in. So do you know what I've really enjoyed getting out on the golf course as I say it's been a long while it's been a long winter 
obviously do a lot of videos in the studio but just to get some time that's the key for me is getting the time to actually get out on the golf course to film it's just been i've just really enjoyed it obviously days like this it's a beautiful day here at Appleby the scenery is absolutely stunning so obviously that does help and the golf course is in great condition but really enjoyed it i'm hopefully going to try and make a bit of time for myself to get out on the course a little bit more often okay so my first missed fairway let's hope this doesn't punish me 94 yards that's all i've got in ball's not lying too bad there little 54 pins very much at the front edge oh come on kick off that bank in release down release down Par finish, level par, I'd take that. Wasn't too bad, hit the ball pretty well. Just great to get out. Hopefully catch up with you all very soon.